Shike. So I've picked out three pads that I think are extremely beneficial for, for anyone in different kind of situations. So the first one I picked out is for the drum kit drummer. The second one is for the marching snare drummer. And then the third one is just an overall pad that is one that I found to be probably one of the most beneficial that is I play on the most because it's so easy to bring anywhere. So let's start off with the drum kit uh, pad. So the one I picked out here is the Thomas Lang pad. Now, you get this in two different sizes. So there's the six inch or the 12 inch. The reason why I picked the Thomas Lang drum pad is that it's as close to a snare drum that you would play behind a drum kit than any other pad that I've tried out. The rebound you get off it is extremely good. And when you're playing different dynamics, you can really hear the difference and that's very important too. I think what helps with that is how it's constructed. You've got a quarter of an inch gum rubber on top with a three quarter of an inch base made out of wood. So another great thing about this pad is the price. It's very, very reasonable for everything that you get. And when you compare it to other drum pads out there, it generally comes in a little bit lower. So if you're ready to pull the trigger on a pad for your drum kit, that you want that kind of a feel, this one is definitely worth taking a look at. So we move on to the marching snare drummer. So let's talk about Vic Verth. And this one is one of my favorites. This is Vic Vert Slim Pad or sometimes known as the Heavy Hitter Pad. Now if you're after an authentic marching snare feel then look no further. This pad um, it will tick all those boxes. The top of the pad is extremely hard so when you throw down the stick the rebound is literally insane. The stick will fly straight back up at you. Now it's constructed a little bit different to other pads. They've only used one eighth of an inch thick gum rubber on top of a very solid wooden base. Now that's what gives it that feel, that real real hard, hard surface, and it, it replicates that real high tension skin that you would find on a marching uh, snare. It's extremely sturdy, and I think that's done by design because they know that the marching band drummers are gonna be, are gonna be hitting this with extremely thick sticks, um, and on the back you have uh, an extra non-slip material, so you can put it down on the desk uh, put it down on a table and it's not going to fly around the place even when you're hitting it with the big marching band sticks. Now two things I need to say about this pad before anyone pulls the trigger and buys it, you need to know is it's pretty loud, okay? It's not as loud as a marching band snare drum, obviously, but it's very, very loud. Not so much that you're going to wake up your neighbor, but your housemate might have an issue with it. Now the second thing is it can be quite expensive depending on where you live in Europe. Don't be shocked to pay up to 60 euros for this pad. I paid up to 60 euros for this pad. In the States, I've seen it now go for about $40. I think it's well worth $40. 60 euros, it's a bit of a push, but I've had mine for three years, zero issues with it. Um, it's very good quality. Um, so have a look at it and see what you see what price you can get it for. It's, it's definitely well worth investigating into it because it's an extremely good pad if you're after that kind of feel. Let's talk about a very convenient pad that you can take with you anywhere. This is a knee pad. Every drummer should have a knee pad and it's not until you get one that you realize how beneficial it is. They can just come anywhere with you. They're very small, fit into any bag, and you don't even notice that they're there. So if you're five minutes before the gig, or you're on a break from school, literally you just whip it out and you can knock out some rudiments. It's so handy. This specific one I have here is from Thoman, the Thoman knee pad. It's only four inches in diameter and it's got a quarter of an inch rubber uh, gum on top. Now this just gives a medium feel, so it'd be very much like the snare drum that you would have on a drum kit. Um, how it's put together, you have the pad and you have the straps and then a buckle. You clip that on by your thigh right next to your knee and you're pretty much ready to go. This specific one has non-slip uh, material on the bottom so you can put it on the table and you can just play on that without clipping it to your uh, knee. And then there's also a thread on the bottom of it so on smaller cymbal stands you can screw it onto that and it works perfectly. So the great thing about the Thoman pad is that it only set me back 15 euros. A lot of the drum manufacturers are charging quite a high price for these kind of pads coming in at 30, 40 euros and you know even higher. So do shop around, see what you can get because you may be able to get maybe one that isn't such a big brand name for a little bit cheaper because the one I have, I really have had no problems with it for the last three years. So definitely shop around. Now all the pads that I've shown you there, please at least research them before you pull the trigger on any pad because I think they're excellent, excellent pads. Check out the reviews that I have in each one of them. And uh, if I missed out anything, if you think that there's a pad better than any of the ones that I've chosen, 
please put it down in the comment section. Let's get a conversation going. Please give me a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't. Guys, take it easy. I'll chat you on the next video. See you next week. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Guys, hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you like what you've seen here today, you can see a lot more videos. Just click on any of them here on the screen.